All right, I'm going to look at how to create a GitHub repository for Visual Studio. So I'm logged into GitHub, created an account, logged in. Go ahead and I do create repository. So I'm going to create a new repository and I will call this one my new test repo or project, I guess, project. So a new test project. Um, I can make it a um, either a public or a private project. I'm going to stay with public, although private's kind of nice too. It's good to add a readme file just for default to have a readme file that you can add to. You want to have a git ignore file right here. So the git ignore file, because I'm doing a Visual Studios project, I want to use a Visual Studios template. So I scroll down. And finally get to the bottom, and then I find the Visual Studio template. Uh, if I want to, I can choose a license. Uh, there are lots of licenses. You can have none, or you can choose a license. I'll go ahead and stick with the GPL3. It's a nice license. And I will click Create Repository. At this point, the project repository has been created. There are three files that are in it, the GitIgnore, the license, and the README. The GitIgnore is really kind of important to have in here because it prevents you from uploading a lot of your binary files that are automatically created by Visual Studios, so I don't really want those there. The license is kind of nice. Just you want to start with the license and know what your license is, but at that point, you should kind of know what licenses do, what they mean. So maybe if you don't know what to do, then don't do one, but, but research them. And if I want to then check out my project and have it available under the code, Box right here you can see there is a URL right here for my code uh, I can use this right here and if I have a git client on my machine I can then check out the project or clone the, the project and then I can use it there if I want to once my project is going I can make new branches right here type in the name of the branch and it'll branch off of main I can also switch branches which ones I'm using and I can look at the contents of individual files, such as this get ignore file and see what's in the file right here. So this is how to create a project and just get started.